Ever wanted to view the latest results for your team within the comfort of your smart home? Fear not. Today we will integrate Team Tracker into the Home Assistant and write an automation that notifies you on match day. First of all, we need to download Team Tracker integration from HACS, which will pull data from ESPN into your Home Assistant and allow you to set up sensors for the team you care about. This integration covers multiple sports and leagues, but for the purposes of this presentation, we will focus on football. Yes, football, not soccer. After downloading this integration and restarting Home Assistant, you proceed to Settings and Integration. There, you can add new and search for Team Tracker. There, it will let you add a new sensor through the Add Entry functionality. When you are adding a new entry, you will need to choose a league, EPL, in the case of English Premier League, and a short name for your team, Live, in the case of Liverpool. Should you need to look up the short name for your team, just go to the Score section of ESPN website and find yours. It will show you the right value. Finally, provide a friend name and click submit. The end result will look like this. From here you can immediately add it to your dashboard by downloading Team Tracker card in HACS. Reload after downloading and here you have it. A lovely Team Tracker card that looks great and gives you all the info on the match. There are ways to customize the card, but I've only added show rank and home side to mine so that I can always have a home side to the left and can see the record of my team. Now on to the actual automation. This one will require some templating but you may as well just copy paste the template details from the description to this video and amend sensors as needed. We start off with two triggers, one for each of the teams, ours and the opponent. As a general practice, it is best to use states and specify attributes, so that's exactly what we've done here. Now just give each trigger a unique ID so that you can, later on, leverage, choose functionality in action. We trigger done. It is time to specify the only condition that matters, that your team is actually in the game. Simply create a state condition and choose state in. Finally, we will set two options for our action set Section. First triggered when our team scores, we select the correct trigger ID and then proceed with call service notify where we can send a notification to our phone, telegram, email, or even announce through your smart speakers. I personally settled on delivery through my phone and wrote a simple message to tell me who scored and what is the overall score in the match. Don't get spooked by the template. It is really straightforward. And, once again, you can just copy-paste from the description into the message box in the visual editor and then just change the sensor name to yours. This is how the automation works in real life, and it does so really well. Furthermore, you can set up automation for multiple sports and teams you monitor and stop jumping up and down dedicated sports apps, which usually segment sports into separate sections. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.